Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back, and uh, today we're going to be doing a mod install guide. I'm just going to be doing a really quick version for people who just want to jump into the game and get things going. So, first things first, you need to download the mod. So, you want to go to www.fdrlogging.com. This is where all the mods are hosted from. Everything that I have for PC is hosted from here. So what you want to do is you want to come here, you want to choose your version of Farming Simulator. So whether you have 19, 17, 15, um, each one of them has categories for mods. So we're going to go Farming Simulator 2019 because that's the most uh, used one currently. Uh, so when you click on this guy, it will open up and you'll see a whole bunch of these kind of shutter windows showing off the stuff to download. So you'll see Grizzly Mountain. The maps are always going to be at the top. We only have one map up here, but there's these arrow keys on the sides that'll let you choose between them. So we have this one here uh, for Grizzly Mountain. We have attachment machines. So these are machines that have no attachments on them. They have no heads on them, no grapples, no nothing. Um, these are machines that will pretty much connect to all the attachments that we create. Again, we just have the A80 logger at this current time, but the, these arrow keys will let you uh, select between them. Uh, attachments are the actual attachments that hook to these uh, attachment machines. So you download these guys separately. So the power clam, uh, again, we have an arrow key here that'll take you to the next one. So this is what all of them will be like once uh, we get more mods out. You'll just be able to click and kind of scroll through them to see what kind of stuff they have. Then you can uh, download it and uh, get things going. So processors, trailers, all such stuff. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a really quick one. So any mod that you see that you want, all you got to do is click download. So very straightforward. Most computers will take you instantly to a download page and start downloading the mod to wherever your default download location is on your browser. So go on your computer and find out where the download is. Mine goes straight to my desktop. So here's the file I just downloaded, FDR, Machine, Processor, Tiger Cat, South Star. Okay, so now that we have the mod, that's the most important part. You can do that with all the mods on the page, download them, get them rolling. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to put this mod in your mods folder uh, for Farming Simulator 2019. So uh, for most of the part, I go to My Documents. So you can go down to My Documents, which is this guy here. You can also do this by you know creating a folder on your desktop and going double click on it. Usually at the bottom it says My Documents. You can go to your Start menu, find My Documents. Regardless of what you do, get to the My Documents folder, okay? So My Documents, and then you want to go My Games, which is this guy here. If you have Farming Simulator installed, everyone will have this. So My Games and Farming Simulator 2019 or 2017, 2015, whatever version you're working with. Today is 19, so we want to double click on 19. Uh, in here we have something called Mods. So Mods is your mod folder, the place that you'll put all your modifications for the game, okay? So mine's full of stuff right now, so I'm just actually going to clear that out really quickly just so we have a nice example here. So when you first start the game, you won't have any mods in this folder. So my documents, my games, Farming Simulator 2019 mods. Now what you want to do is whether you downloaded one of my machines or you downloaded a whole bunch of my machines and my maps and you have them all in a big pile, grab those files and put them inside this mods folder. All right. So you can, you can drag it in there. You can go uh, right click cut right click paste that's another way to do it however you want to get these mods in here but make sure it looks like this and it's in this file okay after you do this you can fire up the game so I just have a shortcut here so we'll fire it right up and once we get things loaded okay so now you're gonna to go to start a new game so you can't see it but um, my menu is over here you want to start with career or whatever you're doing um, my save games aren't going to work because I uh, have it off. So choose whatever category for wherever you want to start a game. Double click. I'm going to say difficulty this one. I'm going to say we're going to play on Ravenport. Uh, choose my character. Looks good. Now when you get to this page, this is where it lets you actually select what mods you want in the game. So if you get here and you see the Tiger Cat processor is in here, that means you've done everything correctly. Make sure it's checked off. Um, you can uncheck mods if you don't want to use them in the in the game you're playing, but make sure there is a check mark there and click start. Once the game uh, loads up, I'll show you exactly how to purchase it and where to go. And that's uh, pretty much the, the the gist of it. So just give me a sec here while this loads up. 
So yeah, it, it works with any uh, any mods that you have from FDRlogging.com. Just click download, download as many as you want, all the ones you want, and throw them into that mods folder. And as long as they come up in game with a check mark, uh, they're good to go. You can pretty much uh, rock and roll for that stuff. All right, we're almost there. I can see the little loading thing is slowly giving her here. Come on, little buddy. Brand new game. It always takes a little bit of time. Also, um, if you guys haven't already, I'll show you uh, the reference page for the control guide as well. We'll do that right after here. So here we are in the beautiful Ravenport starting location. Now, uh, in order to get the mods to to down or to buy them, you want to hit P on your controller for purchase, as in Peter, purchase. Hit P. You'll see this menu here pop up. This can be kind of confusing for some people um, looking for equipment. So you can either go forestry equipment, and mine will show up on the end. But for the most part, I would highly recommend you just go to this tag over here at the top. Click the tag, and then FDR Logging has its own brand in here. If you click that, it'll show all my FDR Logging equipment if you guys are hunting for it. It's just way easier to find it that way. So tag, brand, FDR Logging, double click it. And then you can purchase this thing however you want. My store looks a little bit weird, but um, you can lease it. You can buy it. Do whatever you want. So we're going to hit lease. Once it's in the store, we can tab to it. And there you have it. Machine is in game and ready to rock. That's as easy as it gets for installing mods. Very simple process. I'm just going to tab out of the game here because we don't need it now. Uh, get rid of that. So on FDRlogging.com, if you're lost and uh, you got the machine in the game, it's downloaded there's also a control section, which is the mod install guide here. So if you get to FDRlogging.com, you can go down to mod install guide. There's a link to this video that you're watching right now. Obviously, you won't want to click that because you're watching the video already. Uh, the next video you want to watch after you do this install is the control setup guide. So uh, definitely watch that video right after this one. It'll teach you how to set up dual joysticks if that's the way you want to go. It's also got this handy dandy reference guide to show you all that. But click on that video if you guys want to see more. It'll give you all the details on how to set up controls. But yeah, that uh, concludes how to install mods. If you guys have any questions or comments, throw them in the uh, video below and let me know what you think. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.